Right. Um, so what is fission? The difference between fission and radioactive decay is radioactive decay is spontaneous. It happens um, whether it, it's, to, it's random and spontaneous. Um, so which means you don't know when it's going to happen and you can't affect when it's going to happen. So you can't speed up the process by heating it up, for example, slow it down by, you can't do anything. It'll always just go at the rate it goes. But with fission, you have to cause it to happen. So it's kind of like forced, and it doesn't decay in the way that, so it doesn't give off a beta decay or alpha decay. The whole thing breaks into two. So you've got the uranium-235 nucleus, and I'm going to give it a neutron and the by pressing this button here in, in a moment. And um, one thing you need to know about this is that the, the neutron that it that um, that it that joins it, that neutron is slow moving. And we don't want to think about it as like a kind of a gun. I know it shouldn't be probably drawn as a gun, really, but it's more like you're giving the neutron to the nucleus and uh, the nucleus absorbs it. If, in fact, because if it was moving too quickly, it would just it wouldn't work. Um, and so what happens is the nucle the neutron is absorbed into the nucleus and then it becomes very unstable. OK, so. It's be very unstable now, uranium-236, and then it breaks apart. And it breaks apart into two other nuclei we call daughter nuclei. And it also gives off three... Well, actually, sometimes it can be two neutrons, but in this case, it's three neutrons. So again, uranium-235, it breaks up into these two other nu uh, nuclei, daughter nuclei, gives off a neutron three neutrons. These three, these neutrons are also called daughter neutrons. So if I go to chain reaction, what is a chain reaction? Well, if we've got lots of, um, can I change? Yeah, I can, I can aim it. It's quite cool. Um, you can change how many of the nuclei that are there on this animation. And because each of these nuclei, when you, when you, when you fire a, a single neutron at one of them, they each one of them will give off three other neutrons. Those three neutrons, those daughter neutrons, will cause other nuclei to decay if they're absorbed. So if I point at this one here, it'll be difficult to follow because it'll be going too quick, but essentially one it, it's a it's like a, an accelerating domino rally. Um I think my computer might be struggling or either that or the website's struggling because it's there's too many of them and it happened too quickly let's have a just add a couple and we'll see if we, we can see it a bit more easily oh. <laughs> i'll try that again um okay we have to have enough to actually get the neutrons to hit but um so you get the get the idea anyway the um so so there is a chance that the neutrons won't actually uh, co um, collide with another nucleus. And in fact, that um, how effective that chain reaction is determine, is, is, um, is, is what helps you decide what to use this chain reaction for. So when we, the original one that I did, when I just had loads of them, that essentially is what a nuclear bomb is or fission nuclear bomb. You can actually have a fusion nuclear bomb as well, or hydrogen bombs. But um, uh, most most um, nuclear bombs are um, fission bombs. But you can also have nuclear reactors. So you can, have nu you can have fission used to produce energy. And we don't want a bomb in that case, of course. So we want to make sure that this amount of energy doesn't go out of control if i and these control rods they help to do that so if i just fire this neutron then what happens is the um those daughter neutrons cause further fission reactions to happen and it can start to accelerate and the temperature will start to rise because the amount of energy that's being produced will will get more and more and more quickly it will produce will produce energy more and more quickly and so the energy per second increases. The total energy is obviously always going to increase anyway, but the temperature increases, which is an issue. And 
if the temperature increases too much, then we can have a meltdown. And that is when important part, I think it's the actual fuel rods themselves uh, melt. So what you want really is, um, there you go, it's last bit's going to go. What you want really is to try to not waste any of the fuel, like we've actually, oh, we nearly wasted just a tiny bit there. If you do what we just did there, you won't waste any fuel, but you will have a nuclear bomb. (laughs) So you want to be able to sort of control um, how much, I'll talk about these control words in a moment, but you want to be able to control how much, um, did I actually, did I press it? There we go. You want to, let's try that again. See, I didn't, I didn't too much then, right? So they stopped, it stopped it altogether. You don't want that. So you can't even really see, you can't really see where the neutrons are, but, um, so you want to be able to control, you want to be able to control it. So you want to be able to make sure that the, 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 the reaction doesn't fizzle out, but you also don't want it to go out of control. Um, so what do these control words do? What they, they absorb some of the Dalton neutrons. Uh, we just want to make sure they don't absorb too much, of course, right? So that's um, that's fission, essentially. That's I'm not sure what else you would need to know about fission other than that. The, you are giving it a neutron to break up um, to break up the nu- um, the the nucleus, and when it does that, it gives off other um, gives off Dalton neutrons, which will cause other ones to happen, and we have a chain reaction. That chain reaction can be used in nuclear bombs, and it can be new- used in nuclear reactors. So once this, all this energy gets produced, then it gets really, really hot, and that's that heat is used to um, to um, to boil water and then turn it into steam, and the steam turns the turbine, and we have a regular power station set up. Okay, so I'll just stop that there. Maybe we can have a look at some questions. Um, oh, I just hang on a second.